So you want to edit some gaming montages. I've gone over a lot of beginner tutorials on the channel on how you can edit your very own gaming montages inside of DaVinci Resolve. But today, it's your lucky day if you've mastered that because I'm going to be going over an advanced guide. I'm going to be covering some more in-depth keyframing instructions as well as covering some effects that you may not know about. So if that interests you, make sure to watch the entire video if you want to become a god tier editor. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to have a link to free presets down below in the description for you guys to check out. And I'll see you guys on my PC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're inside of DaVinci Resolve. Well, that's actually gonna be the software that we're gonna be using for this video like I mentioned in the intro and it's 100% free download link in the description as well as the presets but all we got to do is just go new project so we're actually gonna navigate on over to there and I'm actually going to name it advanced montage tutorial or something along the lines of that it doesn't really matter exactly what you call it just you know name your project whatever from there we're going to go to the edit tab come up here to file project settings change our frame rate to 60 make sure we're on 1920 by 1080 just want to make sure it's high quality and we're going to press save so you guys probably know if you're watching an advanced tutorial you probably know the basics of uh syncing so what i'm actually going to be doing now is i'm going to be picking some sort of song to use i'm going to be using a song by 637 godwin and uh, it's a banger it's called run like the wind made a fortnite montage to it back in the day and i'm gonna turn it down a bit because it seems to be a bit loud and then all we got to do is we're gonna drag it in here if you guys watch my tutorials you know the first thing i do is i find the main beat drop of the song so that's gonna be right here so those are our two main beat drops that i'm actually gonna be sampling in this and i've also mentioned it in syncing tutorials in the past you want to always go for that clap right after the kill and that's gonna be your transition point that's the best way to sync your transitions so right there right there so we got our kill right here transition second kill transition i'm gonna cut off the excess just like that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our clip so i'm just gonna drag in two random clips from a fortnite montage that i'm editing for fun and a lot of you guys have probably seen the way i sync my clips already all i do is i double click on the clip i scroll through to find the kill and once i find the kill i will add a marker using the actual davinci resolve thing right here so i'm gonna press m then i go slightly before press this the in and then go after this and press out then we're going to drag it in just like that cut this down and we're going to line it up i'm going to use this one this with the second marker the second kill here so we're going to line those two up right there cut it off right here zoom out and then drag it just like this then we're going to double click on our second clip do the exact same thing so we're gonna find the kill for me i'm sinking the pellets or you can sink the gunshot whatever you want to do I suggest you do the pellets in and out. And then what we're going to do is this is a bit too long. That's what she said. <laughs> but we're going to go uh, just like that. And we're going to sync up two markers just like this. And, you know, that's pretty much that. From there, we're actually going to do our time remapping. This is a bit more advanced than what I normally show. So we're going to unlink the clips. So when they're linked together, you're just going to right click, unlink, right click on your actual clip, go into retime curve. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our retime speed right here just by clicking that. We're going to add a keyframe here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keyframe this. And right after, what we're going to do is we're going to one, two. So right here, we're actually going to drag this up to something like 300 drag this down to 50 just like that and then right before drag it down to something like 50 and that is pretty much that so what we're going to do now is we are going to smoothen these out so i'm going to drag this one over just like this drag that and just like that we have it synced up now so what we're going to do now is i'm going to click on each of these points press this button here which allows us to actually smoothen these out so i'm going to smoothen this one out the best i can we're going to do that for this and then what we're going to do is since we've actually gone past the point that we wanted to end the clip out we're just going to drag it back and then fix this one and then we're going to unlink this one to fix this one as well same, 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 same. And then we're going to do the exact same process on this clip. So I'll see you guys once I've done that. And just like that, we are done with the effects on this clip right here. From there, what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab an adjustment clip and drag it over top of our first kill. So we're going to have it lasting from 
the beginning of the kill right here all the way to the very end of the clip we're gonna go into the fusion tab from there what we're gonna do is we're going to navigate on over to wherever you have your preset saved and what i'm gonna do is i have these two impacts right here and you can just drag it into the actual adjustment clip we're gonna zoom out so we can actually see all this double click on this yellow line to disconnect it and then literally all we're gonna do is just connect these together from there the keyframing most likely is gonna be off so you're gonna have to bring up your keyframe menu press this arrow thing right here and we can see these are all the keyframes here so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to like individually bring all these over so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to bring this one over right here bring this one over right here bring this one over right here and then these last two the glow and then the distort chroma we're gonna bring those two over as well and when we zoom them in we should see that they are pretty close now so we're actually just going to fix them now so this one you want to start at the very beginning so you're going to line up the first keyframe with the beginning here the second one we're actually going to drag that over and then have this second point of the keyframe actually end at the very end of the clip this one same exact thing we're going to start it right there and we are going to have this second one end at the very end here and then this one we're gonna do the drop down for the flicker do the exact same thing have it start and then at the very end kind of right just after even is fine for all of these you don't have to have it at the exact end then this one do the exact same thing then select the keyframe drag it over then this one the exact same thing and that one should actually be and then obviously if it disconnects your media out accidentally you can just reconnect it all right and then once it's actually on quarter resolution and it's kind of done a little render through we can see that the impact looks a little something like this and that's super super clean and just follow the same steps with the other impact that i have if not you can literally just drag this on to the other kill and if it is a bit too bright what you can do it works a lot better with different clips just because the victory royale thing is a bit brighter you can just go in here and just like delete the s glow and that'll just get rid of the glow and we can see it's like the exact same thing uh super super clean so the next thing i'm gonna be covering is actually build up so we're gonna drag in adjustment clips that do the exact opposite they kind of start before the kill and then end on the kill and this is just what you kind of see leading up to the kill so we're gonna go right in here to our adjustment clip and then i have two of these right here i'm I'm going to drag in this warp shake build up and this is just two right here so i am going to connect these right here same thing with the keyframes just press the selection thing you're going to just drag these over here and then same thing with the bcc bulge we're just going to drag all of these all the way over and then we can select it make sure the amplitude's in the right spot and this one's gonna do like a i don't even know how to describe it but it's like a a shake with almost a like warp so that's the first build up literally that's all you have to do is just like and this one is just a vignette with a shake so we're gonna connect those two right here and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the keyframes that we've done on literally every single thing so far drag it all the way to the left and then this one, we should be able to yeah, just drag it all the way to the left here. And then we're gonna select these here. Shake is definitely off this. Break that down if we want, drag that down. And just like that. Super, super nice, just like that. Just like that, you got your buildups as well as your impacts. And the last thing to cover is transition. If you wanna do something basic, you could just drag in a cross resolve on DaVinci Resolve by itself. And that'll literally just cross resolve between the two clips. Or you could do advanced transitions using my transition presets by dragging an adjustment clip over the two clips right here. We're gonna find the middle point and we're actually gonna add a marker, go into the fusion tab. Uh, if your keyframe thing is in the way, just get rid of it. And then you're gonna find any of the transition presets that I've linked in the description drag in any of them connect it to your line right here go into your keyframes press the arrow button and then we're going to do the exact same thing that we've been doing with all of the uh, presets and just dragging the keyframes over around our little highlight thing press it and then adjust it even more but you're going to want to actually line up this third keyframe one two three with where your marker is and just like that got your transition it's as easy as that what you can do from there fade in fade out that easy but if you guys did enjoy the video and you learned something new make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot free presets in the description like i've said multiple times and with that being said i will see you guys in a new video on the channel peace out